Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super motivating Sunday reset for you guys. In these Sunday reset videos, I like to go through and kind of revive the house from the previous week while also giving us a fresh start for the upcoming week. It's not always the same things every week, so I kind of just tackle what needs to be done. But you can see we've got quite a mess going on. That's pretty much a daily thing with three kids and two dogs. So we'll be cleaning that up and doing any of the weekly cleaning that I want to get done. I also will restock the groceries for the week. So we'll have a grocery haul as well. But I hope this video gives you all the motivation and leaves you feeling inspired to do your own reset. I also am so excited to tell you guys this video is in collaboration with my friend Carrie Lynn. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to be collaborating with her today. She's become one of my very, very good friends here on YouTube and I am just so honored. I actually found Carrie's channel a few years ago when I was looking at videos on how to DIY granite countertops and she was one of the very first videos to pop up and I just immediately fell in love with her videos and her personality. She is the most humblest, sweetest person. So her content is a lot like mine. It's a good mix of cooking and cleaning. And if you're into home makeovers on a budget, she's the channel. She is the makeover queen. She is so talented and has made a beautiful home for herself and her family. But what I love most about Carrie is that she's real and she's genuine and she's got such a fun personality. I hope one day that I get the chance to meet her in person, but I know you guys will love her. She's going to be sharing a motivational video with you today as well. So make sure to check out her video when you're done with mine and let her know that I sent you. And if you're coming over from Carrie's channel, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to come over. But y'all let Carrie know that I sent you and we're gonna go ahead now and get into the grocery haul. Let's go ahead and move into the grocery haul for this week. I got a Walmart order and then I also have a couple of deals that I got from Kroger as well. But first I'm gonna share the Walmart order. So let's start over here with non-food. So first up, I got some more shampoo and conditioner. This is the L'Oreal L5, I guess is how you say that. It's the color protecting shampoo and the conditioner to go with it. I also got another can of dry shampoo. This is the volumizing dry shampoo. It says most dry shampoos add volume to my hair, but I wanted to see what this one was all about because it has volumizing specifically on the can. So I wanted to see if that works better than just normal regular dry shampoo got some clean freak because i see everybody using this and i have to know what it's all about brayway glass cleaner we are almost out of glass cleaner and this stuff right here is the best glass cleaner ever it leaves your windows and mirrors streak free got some hand soap to stick under our bathroom sink so we can refill our soap dispenser some disinfecting wipes i like to go ahead and get the three pack, it's cheaper for us to do that. And usually what I'll do is I'll put one in each of the bathrooms and then one in the kitchen. Got some puppy pads for Miss Charlie. I got a couple of loofahs and these, y'all, they smell like they already have soap in them. I wouldn't be surprised if I was to wet these right now if they didn't lather up because they smell like they're just coated in soap. They were the 98 cent ones. Um, but I needed to replace our loofahs in the bathroom, so I got some of those. I thought I only ordered one dozen of eggs, but they gave me two, and our Walmart is out of stock on a lot of eggs. This was pretty much the only ones I could get, and these were the cheaper of the options, too. So, eggs are really expensive right now. They're hard to find. Got some Fuji apples. My kids like to dip these in peanut butter, and also Nutella. Got another loaf of bread some strawberries. The boys have been requesting some Reese Puff cereal. This is the minis. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm gonna let the kids decorate some cookies. So we got a roll of sugar cookies and then some icing to go with that. We also got some Valentine's sprinkles. We got four boxes of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is a staple in our house. My kids are super picky eaters so Having mac and cheese in the pantry is a must. I got some rent. I ordered the Ken's Steakhouse, but they substituted for the craft. Got us some more juice. This juice right here is so, so good. It's the Diet Cran Pineapple. They have the regular one too, and I think Walmart even has their brand of it, and it's good too. So I got the kids some more juice boxes. I like to go ahead and get this three pack of Kool Aid jammers. It's cheaper and it lasts longer. Two containers of Nutella. I had ordered one big one, but they gave me two of the smaller. Back here in the back, I got two boxes of strawberry Pop-Tarts and one of the cookies and cream. I had ordered the chocolate because that's 
one of the kids' um, favorites, and they substituted with the cookies and cream. Some more Ovaltine for Ray and her chocolate milk that she loves. Pepperoni, mozzarella, and two jars of marinara because we're going to be doing some crockpot pizza this weekend. Also got some of these Nature's Bakery fig bars. Make a good snack for the kids. I'll also take these with us in the car sometimes if we're going to be on the road for a little bit. For here, I got some zero sugar caramel macchiato creamer. And then this creamer was only like 68, 69 cents. And my mom likes it, so went ahead and got that. And then some oat milk because I wanna try oat milk in my coffee. And then one night this weekend, we are gonna do a movie night. We're gonna have some friends over. And so I got us some things we could throw in the air fryer. Got some pizza rolls, some spicy, chicken nuggets, some regular chicken nuggets, and then two different kinds of fries. So that'll be something easy we can throw into the air fryer. And I also needed some more Alani drinks. I don't drink these a lot. Like I don't have one every single day. I do like to keep them on hand for those really rough days. Sometimes I'm just dead dog tired and I need something extra. So I always like to keep just a few on hand. My Walmart does not have a lot of the flavors, but they do have this breezeberry they also have this Cosmic Stardust, which is one of my favorites, and the Cherry Slush, which is another one of my favorites, but I got three of those. I got some bottles of Dr. Pepper for our friends that are coming over this weekend to have movie night with us. This is their favorite, Milo Sweet Tea. I got a thing of ramen noodles. We always keep these in the pantry for backup lunches and just some more sodas. I needed some more of my Dr. Pepper Zero and then some regular Sprite. This will be for the kids, and I don't like to let them have a lot of soda. So when I do, I usually will let them have Sprite or Sierra Mist, something that's not going to have a lot of caffeine. And I'm just going to show you my Kroger stuff in the fridge here. I just got some milk and some frozen pieces. But these half gallons of milk were on sale for like a dollar and something, and then they had a coupon off making these half gallons a dollar 29 i think is what i paid and so i got one two three four five of those milk freezes really well so i'm just gonna stick these in the freezer and then down here in the freezer i got us a few red baron frozen pizzas they were 3.99 each so that was another deal i got but i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put away and i'll catch you guys in a bit you call me on your bad days so the first thing I'm doing is getting my new sheets on to wash because I'll be switching those out later on. As much as I love my flannel sheets, they are so warm and cozy, but it was time to take those off and wash them. And since I was going to be taking them off, I just decided to go ahead and switch them out. So these are just solid white sheets, nothing fancy. I've always liked the clean and crisp look of white sheets. And plus I can bleach them as needed. So tonight for dinner, I was going to make crock pot chicken parmesan, but we actually had no parmesan, so I just made it without. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I'm just pouring some marinara over that. I'm going to set it on high for four hours, and then later on, I will throw some mozzarella on top. But I just wanted something quick and easy that I could throw in the crock pot today, as I like to do anytime I am cleaning the house, because I know later I'm going to be way too tired to even think about dinner. So. Later on, I will boil some spaghetti noodles for the kids and they'll have that with theirs. And then me and my mom will just have a salad and that will be a super easy and minimal effort dinner. I also wanted to thank you guys for all of your happy birthday wishes earlier in the week. They really made my day and y'all are the best for taking the time out of your day to do that. So I just wanted to take a few minutes here to tidy up the kitchen before I move on to the rest of the house. I needed to clear off the table and the counters and get those wiped down and wash up a few dishes in the sink. I also wanted to scrub it out. I try to do that at least once a week.
While I was washing up the dishes, I did go ahead and grab the glass plate from the microwave and gave that a rinse. So before I put that back, I'm just going to give the microwave a quick wipe. We could go on, but we should know better. We can go on again. Cause you seem like you want it bad. And my sheets had just gone off, so I'm going to get those switched over to the dryer. It seems like I just put them into the washer, but honestly, that goes to show you the reality behind these videos it looks as though i'm zipping through and getting all of this cleaning done in a short amount of time but that's the magic of editing i do have three kids and i'm solo most of the time so it does take a really long time to get all of this done So this is so funny, but often I have to go through the cabinets of this play kitchen because Ray likes to put actual food and drink in these cabinets. So I have to check them almost daily to make sure that nothing gets left in there. And while I was doing that, I noticed how dirty it was. So I just took some Mrs. Myers and wiped it down real quick. <laughs> Yeah. 
And I did end up moving the blue pillows from my bed in here to the living room. Since I got new bedding, they just didn't match anymore. And we needed more pillows in here anyways. And these are the perfect size for this couch. So it just worked out better to have them in here versus keeping them on my bed. And I'll be honest with y'all, I'm kind of over these couch covers, but they do protect our couches with two dogs and three kids. So that's why we've left them on. I do get tired of straightening them 500 times a day because my kids are constantly messing them up, but they are also easy just to throw in the washer and a fast way to freshen up the couches without using the carpet cleaner on them every time. So they do have their pros and cons. moving to the back of the house now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this bathroom I'm gonna start by taking the shower curtains down I wanted to get those washed today and I'll hang them back up to air dry and I feel like they just hold their scent more that way versus if I threw them in the dryer I'm gonna take a minute to put things away on the counter here and give it a quick wipe. I also wanted to refill the soap and clean our toothbrushes, so I'll be sharing how I do that. So in this jar, I've got some antibacterial mouthwash and I'm going to take everyone's toothbrushes and set the heads down in there to soak for just a couple of minutes. And this is a good way to disinfect your toothbrushes. And while I wait, I'm going to take all the rinse cups to the kitchen and wash those up and just clean the area around it. My kids somehow get toothpaste everywhere.
And once a week, I do like to wash the rugs. So I'm gonna take those over to the washer and give the floor a quick vacuum. Finally, moving into my room, I'm going to go ahead and strip my bed down so that I can get my sheet switched out. And let me tell you guys, I have been loving my room so much more since I did that big purge a few weeks ago. My room is so much easier to keep clean. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. It was a really satisfying transformation for me. I still need to work on my closet and I'll probably do that when I switch out my winter clothes for my spring and summer. I always like to rotate my clothes throughout the seasons because my closet is so small. I just don't have a lot of room. So rotating them really helps. So I shared a few weeks ago about my moving situation and what's going on with that. So if you missed that, I'm going to briefly touch on it here. Basically, I am having to wait because I'm actually moving back to my old house way back from the OG days, if y'all remember that house. But my ex-husband currently lives there and is having to get his things in order to move. So I'm just waiting because that's going to be the best option for me and the kids. So as of now, that's the plan. He doesn't want the house. He wants something different. The kids really want that house to stay with one of us because that's their home. So that's where I'm at. I'm just kind of waiting. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right Don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light You're able to be happy You can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready You don't have to be ready You don't have to be ready I'm gonna get these shower curtains hung back up and then I'm gonna show y'all a clip of our dinner when it was all done. But I appreciate you guys watching today. If you watched until the end, leave a butterfly down below in the comments. And remember, Carrie's video is linked down below. 
let her know I sent you. And if you're coming from Carrie's channel, I thank you so much for stopping by today. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say we didn't